what exactly is this trailer? Well, this is an expedition trailer. What an expedition trailer means, it's light, it's nimble, it's designed to go anywhere, carry all the gear that you need to stay off grid and be completely self-sufficient when you're exploring the great Australian outback. It's packed with a stack of features. Essentially, you've got all the luxuries of a caravan built into a nice compact trailer. So if you've got an overloaded car, you're carrying a really big heavy canopy, you like the luxury of being able to set up camp and then duck off and go and explore the great tracks, head into town, do all the things that we like to do when we go traveling, then this could very well be the trailer for you. Behind me here's one of the coolest expedition trailers on the market. It's a Toy Tough TF1, designed by Toy Tough, built by Signature Camper Trailers, it's an absolute weapon on the tracks. It's a powerhouse full of electronics. It's got a couple of luxury features, and I'm gonna take you for a run through and see what this little trailer can do. It's a bit cold and windy up here, so let's head back down the mountain and check this thing out. So we're down the mountain, we found a very special little campsite right by the river, so we're going to set up camp. This is made a little bit easier because of our ARC XO 750 jockey wheel and the obviously very well known Cruise Master DO35 off-road hitch. So I'm going to undo this, I'm going to disconnect it from the car, we'll set up camp and then I'll take you through a run through. So I've unhooked it from the car. Before we set up the tent and awning, let's take a quick look around what's on the outside of the camper trailer and what's included and what are some of the special features included in this uh, TF1 campus. <laughs> you got your handbrake up here. That obviously locks the wheels up. So when you're, uh, when you're parked up, the trailer's not gonna roll away. You got an Anderson plug. So that's a 50 amp Anderson plug and that controls the wiring, which is running from your car's batteries through to the DC to DC charger, which is in this camper trailer. I'll run through that shortly when we go through the electrics, but basically what this means is that when you're on the road and you're traveling to your next destination, this is what's going to charge your batteries up and make sure you've got a full, uh, full amount of uh, battery power when you get to your next campsite. We've also got a standard 7-pin plug. We can also put the round plugs, but all you need is a 7-pin plug. Gone are the days of the old 12-pin setup. 7-pin seven seven does the job, and in that regard, all you need is an electric brake controller, or we can fit a system like the elect brake um, or another sort of Bluetooth uh, elect brake or electric brake system on your camper trailer when you um when you come and pick it up. Up here we've got a tap, so we've got an external tap. Comes in bloody handy for cleaning your you know cleaning your hands, filling dog bowls up, attach a hose to it, give your car a quick clean off. You've got a stack of water in here, so that's a very very handy addition to this camper. Up here you've got your massive stone guard. So if you're uh, touring the outback, dirt roads, all of the like. You've got a mesh stone guard up the front. What that does is that absorbs any stones from being flicked up, hitting the camper trailer. Being mesh, it means it won't act as a uh, basically it won't act as a hard surface and ricochet the uh, the stones into the into the back of your car or anything. It'll hit that and it'll hit the ground. A couple of mud flaps, obviously. Your spare tire, and then we roll into the uh, roll into the main part of the camper trailer. So, what have we got in the big front storage boxes? Well, below the storage boxes, we've got your max tracks so part of the tf1 spec edition is that you're getting your max tracks included with that they're with genuine max tracks mounting pins which have a lockable hole so you can actually stick a padlock on there lock your max tracks up through the trailer so when you're uh, when you're away from um when you're away from your camper somebody's not going to come and help himself to them inside here is a big sealed storage box for your jerry cans so you've got enough space in there for two 20 liter jerry cans extra fuel extra water or just use it as a storage box and, um, and throw all of your other bits and pieces in there. But yeah, bloody handy to have that one and that's all sealed up in there. So next to your jerry cans, we've got a nice big sealed storage box. Big carpeted box, very, very handy for putting all sorts, your pillows, your dunas. Got my pillow and my doona in there, funnily enough at the moment. You can throw all sorts of stuff in there. You know, you could take a portable toilet, chuck it in there. You could probably fit a generator in there if you like, if anyone still carries a generator these days. Close that one up. 
in here, sealed storage box for your gas. It's got the vents and everything that's required in it. What we do with this trailer is we actually hard plumb the gas so in it. So no need to take the gas bottle out when you reach your destination or to get the cooker working. It's in there. It goes to a bayonet fitting, which is where our kitchen is. Um, it's set and forget, turn it on and away you go. Then got externally, we've got stabilizer legs on each corner of the camper. So when you get to camp, you can pull that down, drop it down, and you've got your stabilizer legs, all four corners. Um, set the camper up, make sure it's nice and level. You're not going to get any sort of bounce when you're, uh, when you're climbing in and out of bed or, uh, or if you're a bit of a, bit of a rough sleeper. Um, that'll set the camper nice and stable. So down here, well, you've got your big mud terrain tire. So it's actually a light truck tire. It's a 10 ply tire, which means it's really, really tough. It's able to handle a lot more than your traditional uh, all terrain tires. Really, really strong sidewalls. Being a mud terrain tire, those extra, those the basically big, uh, big grips are going to grab the trailer. If you're using any, using it on, you know, dirt tracks, mud tracks, um, anything of the like, you've got your alloy wheels. So it's a 265, uh, 75, 16. Uh, tire basically means you've got a 16 inch uh, rim inside there we've got 12 inch electric brakes they are enormous electric brakes way too big for this camper trailer but they work an absolute treat in controlling all of the weight and everything that you're doing with this camper up here you've got a really unique coating on your wheel arches you've actually got raptor coating so this is all done in australia it's a uh, it's basically it's a paint protection coating it's really thick it's hard wearing it's designed to um, basically protect the camper from stone chips anything else that gets thrown around as you can see, we've got a fair bit of mud and whatnot thrown up here. That looks after it. Means you can also walk on it. So when you're climbing all over this trailer, setting up your tent, anointing on all that sort of jazz, you're right to stand up on there. What's going on underneath? Well, this is a, uh, a big part of our development that we've done with Lovell Suspension. Well, Lovell Special Products, I should say. So underneath here is you've got an enormous suspension system where you've got dual shocks on each independent swing arm. That's uh, their Australian-made Lovell Springs, Australian-made Lovell Shocks, uh, they're a yeah absolutely classy bit of kit um they're fully australian made and they yeah they will keep you out of trouble and um and keep you on the road for for many many years to come you've got your lights obviously at the back more stabilizer legs your water tanks up underneath here i'll run through the water capacity and everything when we get to the kitchen um but then we've got a few doors fridge slide and whatnot at the back which we'll go through coming around here you've got well what i didn't mention is you've got 12 volt sockets absolutely everywhere so uh, you've got six sockets there. Each of the corners have those. You've got uh, lights. Once we actually set the camper up, I'll show you these lights. But they're a dual color light. Absolutely brilliant. This is all part of your electrical system. So this is your solar input and this is your 240 volt input. Again, when we actually go through the electrical system, I'll run through all of that. And up top is your cage storage. So a huge amount of storage in the cage. Uh, it's partitioned off in different sections. So you can use some for firewood. You can put your chainsaw up there. What's really unique about this camper trailer is that your front and rear doors in the center actually come off so you can put a kayak in there. How good is that taking a kayak away? You've got the camper and all the toys. Setting up your camp is an absolute breeze when you've got the right equipment. So all I'm gonna do, undo these three latches. Pull the ladder out, so I've unclipped that. Ladder comes out, and then we use the ladder, bring the tent over. Adjust the ladder. So our ladder's actually our support for the tent. Bring that into the right position. I'm gonna grab my window poles out. Sleeping quarters done. So same thing, undo the bag, undo the straps. So there's three straps on this awning. So this is a 270 degree awning. And look at that, it starts going out by itself. All we do is grab this rope, pull it all the way around to the back and hook it up to the camper. Oh, sorry, sorry. Right, so where were we? So, this trailer here is the Toy Tough TF1. 
based on the very, very popular Deluxe 2 from Signature Camper Trailers. It's basically been optioned up to the hills. We've got a whole lot of extra things included in this camper trailer. I'm gonna run through all of that, but let's start with the basics first. Being that it's based off the Signature Deluxe 2 camper trailer, it already comes with a suite of awesome, uh, awesome additions and, and basically features that make it a really, really good camper trailer. You've got fully stainless steel kitchen. So you've got a Dometic two burner uh, cooker. You've got sink in here with a dish rack. So you've got 111 liters of water built into this camper trailer. This runs through to the uh, through through to the sink area as well as to that draw bar tap that we showed you before. Get all your dishes done up there, refill your uh, your kettle, all that sort of jazz. Otherwise, great little workspace. Inside here, these are absolutely brilliant. 12 volt oven. So you can cook up all of your grates in there. Your apple pies, your sausage rolls, your meat pies, your roasts, your pizzas. Heat up a couple of little chicken wings. You can do the whole lot in this little oven. Uh, great addition and um, take my word for it, there is nothing better than a uh, apple pie and a bit of ice cream around the campfire of an evening. Coming down here, well, now this is luxury on the campsite. This is a standard feature and I reckon we've got to be the only camper trailer on the Australian market to include this as a standard. It's a coffee machine. So you got your little pod and espresso coffee machine. You got your milk frother there as well. Little pods to go in it. And what is better than waking up in the morning and getting this thing cracking? This just slides straight out of the way when you're done. And underneath here is all of your storage. So massive amount of storage. Put your pots, your pans, your extra food, uh, use it a pantry space, however you want to want to work it. What's unique about our trailers is all the bench space. So you've got these doors, rather than just being a door, we've used them as benches. So you've got stainless steel skins over all of the doors. Make yourself up a sandwich, get your dinner ready, do your washing, whatever it might be. Check the maps when you're on the tracks. Anything, you can use these doors. Inside here is your master control panel. So we've got some standard switches up the top here, which include your power, your fridge power, your socket power. Um, you've, got your, you've got your radio with your speaker, so you've got Bluetooth, USB in the whole kit. But what's really cool about this setup is your ePro battery monitor. So that is an Enerdrive ePro battery monitor. What that means is this camper trailer is fully lithium ready to go. We've got lithium in there, and once we get around to the power system, I'll explain what that means. But with this, it'll tell you how much battery power you've got, uh, how long you've got until you've run out of power, um, how quickly the batteries are charging, and a whole lot of other very, very useful bits of information when you're operating your camper trailer. Again, storage is a big feature, well, of all of our campers, and you've got plenty of in here. You can get a stack of stuff in there. Use your imagination. Let's go around the back. <laughs> <laughs> so around the back, Heap more storage. So you've got these two little compartments. You've got one here, one the other side, all carpeted, all lined. Great for putting all your bits and pieces. You know, your bug spray, your sunscreen, uh, your own bits of recovery gear. Very, very handy to get to. You've got a massive big fridge slide. So at the moment we're running a, uh, you can fit up to a 75 litre dual zone fridge freezer in here. You can run your Evercool, you can run your Dometic, uh, Mike Coolman. There's a whole range of fridge freezers on the markets. Let us know which one you want and we can arrange it and include it as part of your package. But you've also got more storage space so at the back of the fridge you've got spare spots so you can put well at the moment we've got our bit of camping gear going on back here um yeah basically spots to hide things everywhere in here you've got power for the fridge you've got a light built into this fridge slide area all carpet all insulated uh and very very handy so you've got your 12 volt sig socket you've got your usb connection uh led lighting in there uh absolutely mint coming down this end of the camper trailer we've got our water fill point so that's where we put our fresh water in. Is you've got a heap of storage. In this case, we've got all of our food and all of the good stuff, Cocoa Pops, Vita Wheats, and pancake mix. Throw that away. You got more storage underneath there. You can fill that up to the nines. Right, so the electrical system on this camper trailer is unlike anything else seen in this style of camper. It is enormous. So the power, the appliances that are in this, uh, basically match or exceed most caravans and most high value caravans on the market today. Starting with your battery power. So it's a full Enerdrive system. Enerdrive have a enormous warranty support network around Australia, over 300 service locations, uh, online and via the phone technical support, which means you're never left high and dry if you've got an electrical, uh, uh, electrical problem. You've got your two 100 amp hour E-Lite lithium battery. So full lithium setup, uh, 200 amp hours uh, in total and obviously we've gone to town with the wiring you only need to check out the size of the wiring to see that this is a serious piece of equipment 
coming down the trailer, we've got a couple of external points. These are doing different things based on the appliance that they're actually attached to. So let's start internally. What we've got up here is you've got your AC transfer 2000 watt inverter. 2000 watt inverter is a big inverter. It's enough to run your coffee machines. It's enough to run induction cooktops. It's enough to run air fryers. Uh, depending on the wattage of those appliances, you can run all of those luxury items and take them away with you when you, uh, when you go camping. Our last camping trip, we did a, a roast in an air fryer, all running off an inverter just like this one. An AC transfer inverter basically means that it will decide uh, automatically what power source to use based on whether you're hooked up to 240 volt power versus when, whether you're running on battery power. This camper has a full 240 volt sight pack. That means it's got a 15 amp input, breaker switches, and power points throughout the camper trailer. You've got a double GPO here, and you've got two more on the other side. You've got one in that control panel area and one behind the coffee machine. The ones on the other side of the camper trailer are all hooked up to this inverter, which means that if you wanna use the battery power to run your 240 volt appliances and you're not hooked up to your 15 amp uh, power from, from a caravan park, from home, from a friend's place, those power points are gonna be run from this inverter over here. Working down the camper trailer, we've got an AC battery charger. An AC is your 240 volt battery charger. That's this unit here. It's a 20 amp battery charger, which means that when you're hooked up to site power, again, through the 15 amp input, uh, the batteries are gonna be charged up. So you can be at a caravan park, plug the camper in, have full 240 capabilities and keep your, and keep your batteries alive. The next part of this power setup is your DC to DC charger. What a DC to DC charger does is it basically ensures that your batteries are fully charged up using your 12 volt power sources. So our Anderson plug or the power at the very front of the camper trailer runs through this little unit here. And this works that power to make sure that your camper trailer batteries, so your lithium batteries in the back are always 100% charged up as best they can from the power coming in from your car. It's also got a separate solar input, which means it regulates solar through a range of solar panels completely independently um, of anything else. And that is this little section here. So this is a waterproof Anderson plug connection. Simply uh, have your solar panel with an Anderson plug connection, hook your solar panel up to here. It'll run that power through the DC to DC charger, regulate it, and then keep those batteries charged up when you're off the grid. So this here is a fully Australian installed system. All of this stuff happens in our workshop in Sydney. Everything is fused up in there. So you've got individual fuses which can be monitored, which can be changed out if you have any drama, which means diagnosing any issues is easy. You've got a huge amount of warranty support through both us as well as Enerdrive for this system. It is truly an absolute powerhouse in terms of, uh, in terms of your battery power, your charging capabilities and off-grid reliability. Uh, so if you, want the, uh, if you want the best, Grab yourself a TF1. So now the power's on, the fridge's cold, the batteries are charging. Let's have a look at the tent and awning. So the standard fit out for the TF1 camper trailer is the Toy Tough HT1600 hard shell rooftop tent. This is an incredibly quick and easy tent, uh, tent to set up. Basically undo the three clips, whole thing folds out, fold the ladder out, jump in, and, uh, and you get a good night's sleep. It's got windows all the way around it. It's got a moon roof, so you can actually open it up and check out the stars as you're going to sleep at night. Massive amount of ventilation, really good quality canvas, good quality zippers, and hey, it's a good looking tent, isn't it? So that's our standard fit out in terms of the tent. The beauty about this trailer is that you can pick almost any tent option on the market. The guys at Signature will fit it to your Toy Tough TF1 camper trailer. We fitted a range of tents, including your Bush companies, uh, your Ranger Darchi 23-0, there's a stack of camp, there's a stack of rooftop tents on the market and being so versatile, this one can be kitted up just the way that you want it. Let's go and have a look at the awning. I'm standing underneath the Turon 270 awning. So that's a Toy Tough product. Again, it's the standard fit out for this camper trailer and it's a self-supporting awning, incredibly quick and easy setup, really good quality. You've got the option of a full wall kit all the way around it. You've got sturdy, uh, sturdy clips, you've got pegged down feet, these beautiful black arms, uh, beautiful black um, support rails all the way through it. Sets up nice and quick and easy, and that's the standard fit out for this camper trailer. Again, just like the tents, we can do a range of awnings, uh, so pick the one that's right for you. Either take one off your car, or let us know which one you want, we'll order it in and get it fitted up to your camper trailer. So the Toy Tough TF1 camper trailer, there is simply no other camper trailer on the Australian market which has 
such a big powerhouse, has many luxury features and such great quality inclusions all built into the package of this camper. You've got 111 litres of water, you've got two 20 litre jerry cans, you've got capacity for nine kilo, a nine kilo gas bottle, all plumbed in, all certified. You've got your stainless steel slide out kitchen, these beautiful drop down door uh, workbench areas, space for an enormous fridge, and yeah, that lithium power, the inverter setup, the whole thing, it's, a, it's an absolutely massive package. It's one that's gonna get you off the grid, get you exploring the great Australian outback for many years to come. So make sure you go and check one out at our dealers around Australia and in New Zealand. Uh, they're waiting, waiting for you to come and check it out. They'll do you an unreal deal, fit it up the way that you want it, customize it the way that you need it. Uh, check out some of the options and the inclusions that we can do, including a full airbag suspension setup, and make sure you go and grab yourself a TF1 very, very soon. I've set up camp. I'm gonna go and grab my drink and enjoy the uh, beautiful surrounds of the Victorian high country. I'll see you, um, see you out on the tracks.